this morning here in Sanura on our second last day we thought we'd treat ourselves so we're going to Andaz in Bali which is one of the or Andaz Sanur which is one of the top hotels on the beach so we're gonna go in and have breakfast here it's about $35 Australian each so let's see if it's worth it we're heading to the village square for breakfast morning sir Mm, this place looks nice. I know it's fairly dear to stay here. We've uh, looked at it before. You'd be paying somewhere north of around 400 Australian dollars a night to stay here at the minimum. Has access all the way from Dunu Tamblingen to the beach at the front, as you would expect. Um, and as is a Hyatt brand, but there's also a massive big Hyatt Regency next door. So Hyatt own a fair stretch of the beach here in Sanur. When we walked past last night, this fire pit here was lit up. You could actually see it from back there, from the road. It looked uh, quite stunning. Okay, so we're entering the village square here. Wow, this joint is plush. Certainly nothing mid about this. So here we are at the village square. My husband's booked us in for breakfast this morning. I'll have a latte too, thank you. The concept here at Andaz for breakfast is that everything is made to order, much like a restaurant. So you get your full menu presented to you, which has a range of deli, bakery, eggs and local flavours. So you can even order satay ayam for breakfast if you want. There's things like crepes, uh, meat platters, cheese platters, French toasts, uh, baguettes with barbecueling on them. Um, cereals, yogurt, you name it, you can get it here for breakfast. So, hence why the price is pretty expensive at $35 Australian, but hey, we thought it was worth having a shot and see what it was like. We just ordered a coffee. Staff are absolutely amazing here. So Rebecca grabbed the fruit bowl to start off with and a green detox smoothie while I've got a banana peanut butter juice. So the bread basket for two has just arrived, uh, full of breads and pastries. Looks amazing. Um, bring you some butter and some jam to have with it. So I ordered the Betagul berries. It's caramelised banana, kefir, homemade coconut granola and mint. Looks pretty good. I ordered the matcha bircher muesli to start off with. The presentation of all this food is uh, is really, really good. I've got to say, um, it's probably worth the uh, half the price itself just for the way it's presented and how friendly the staff are. Tell you can eat indoors or outdoors, I think even by the pool up there, I think they were saying. So uh, dining options of where you seat sitting is endless. Um, but as we said, uh, they keep bringing out the food, so they suggested that we order a few things first. Um, City for as long as you like, I think, and, and keep ordering. There's probably 20 to 30 different things on the menu over there that you can order off, um, all cooked fresh and all made to order. So, definitely not your average resort buffet that you find in Bali. So, this interesting pastry comes with a sausage in the middle of it, as some description, so we'll give it a try. It's a nice little combination with a bit of wrap pastry, some seeds. Uh, sausage is a tiny bit spicy, so certainly something different that you can try here. Okay, so I just ordered a uh, next uh, round of food, or <laughs> next part of breakfast. Uh, this French toast arrived. The presentation of it is stunning. So I can't wait to actually tuck into it and try it. Actually, it looks too nice to actually cut. <laughs> Nothing short of amazing. It comes with a bit of pineapple on the top, some ice cream and some shaved coconut, uh, really really original I must say and well presented, flavours mix well together, not your average breakfast meal here in Bali but 
certainly one worth having. So uh, next up is the Barbie Ghoul and Roulette, which is some bread, pickles, and a sauce. The Barbie Ghoul and flavoured sauce too. Okay, the Sato Madeira just arrived, which is a braised beef shank uh, with some vegetables, with an egg, shallots, uh, looks nice. One of the things here, you can order plenty because they just give you little servings. It's like a heap of little tasting sample boards and sample platters to try out. Rebecca just ordered the dumplings, which look nice. What was in the dumplings? Do you remember? Uh, mushroom, chives. So Rebecca just ordered the uh, satay ayam or the chicken satays. Do you love a chicken sardo? I do. I do. <laughs> she normally has one daily at least when we're in, uh, in Bali. And they also brought us the Fisherman's Club fish, fish, of the day. fish of the day, which is oysters. Grilled so oysters. grilled oysters. So we'll give them a shot. This oyster's been stubborn. Yeah, it is. Ah, there it goes. No. Okay, so after about six or seven small meals, I'm finishing off with the Indonesian pancake. It's uh, sweet with pandam sauce and brown sugar. It all looks really nice. So. so Rebecca's last meal of the day has arrived. Uh, She's gone the banana bread. I believe it had like a coffee cream. I think it's it. Espresso cream. Espresso cream. That reminds me of Christmas cake. Yeah. Okay, so Mark uh, told me a couple of weeks ago that he was going to bring me to Andes for breakfast. We'd seen it on a YouTube video. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive because it's not buffet style, so you don't choose it yourself. But the staff here have really helped us in picking uh, things that we probably wouldn't try normally. So all the dishes have been delicious. There's so much fruit. It, was, it all tasted amazing. It was fresh. Um, always hot when it came out. And it's been actually a really good experience. Probably a one-off thing. I don't know if it would wear thin after a few days staying here. But um, yeah, it's definitely very yummy. Okay, so breakfast is done, so we're gonna go out this way and have a bit of a bit more of a look at what's around here at Andes. Just look at the chef making up. Looks like a waffle. Mmm, looks nice. Bye. Bye. Didn't look at this section, did we? So this is a bit further in. Hi. This is where all the cheeses are, fruits, fruit juices. Hi. Morning. Breads. This is where the bar is. So the breakfast area is pretty extensive, really. Let's have a look. Wow. Certainly a pretty big breakfast area here at Ando's. Um, I guess when you pay a big price to stay somewhere, you know, there needs to be plenty of seating, plenty of service and comfort. as you would expect for a uh, hotel of this quality. So that's a quick look at what Andaz looks like on the inside. Breakfast was amazing. Back onto the beach path. 